ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the feckin' world, it's that time that we dived into something new. Now this is something that had been a reoccurrence in the comment section for quite some time, ever since I started my Xbox journey, if you will. Um, I dived into Halo, Gears of War, Ori and the Blind Forest, and so many people have been asking me about this and telling me to check it out and do videos on it and play the game but I have no idea what it is um, I think it's a fantasy adventure kind of game that's literally all I can say about it I don't know I could be completely wrong but what game I'm talking about what franchise I'm talking about and as a part of Microsoft month and the build up to the 23rd of July I've decided today to check it out and what I'm going to be checking out is, of course, Fable. Yes, this is a beloved series to the Xbox fans out there that I'm very excited to check out. Now, from my understanding, there's three different games. And there has been a little rumor of one making an appearance, or should I say a new title making an appearance during the big event in the next couple of days. And I'm excited to see what this is all about. Now, I know the trailers are not going to be something that's going to show me everything about this game. But it's going to give me a better understanding and a better idea of what this franchise is about. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the feckin' world. Today, today we watch every single Fable trailer. So to show your support through this video... Please leave a like, I greatly appreciate it. All the likes will give this video a nice little jump into the algorithm. Plus it'll get more people excited about Fable. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy my content and you want to see more from me, then do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel as well. Turn on notification bells and lads, and lads, tomorrow is going to be one legendary stream. As over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dvgig, I am going to be streaming xbox game showcase live with each and every one of you we're going to be gathering communities from different sectors from the playstation community to the xbox community even some of the nintendo and pc fans we're all going to be uniting together as gamers for this big event tomorrow now for me for me it's 5 p.m british standard time for some others it's nine in the morning but I'm excited. Um, I'm probably going to be streaming before that as well because from my understanding there is a pre-show as well. So I might check that out too. So join me tomorrow lads. So if you haven't, follow me on Twitch. I'll leave a link down below in the description in the first line. Head over there, hit the follow and be sure to get notified for that big, big stream. Anyway, lads, like I said, as part of this celebration of bringing in the games and Xbox month, it is time to check out every single trailer for Fable. Here we go. So here we are, lads and ladies. We have 15 different trailers. And the list has been done by, of course, Mark's top list. So shout out to you, man. Thank you for doing this for me, dude. I really appreciate it. So as you can see, we're going to be starting things off with Fable 1 trailer and we're going to be making our way towards something called fable legends which was cancelled seemingly so i don't know what that's about but i'm excited i'm super pumped to see what this is all about and why you microsoft mad lads out there really love this franchise so we're going to be checking this out together starting off with fable one are you ready let's get into it Whoa, who's this? Okay, cool. Lionhead Studios. Okay, I thought that was an actual character. Microsoft Game Studios, lads! Now, that's some nostalgia for you right there. We got some sword play. I do like my sword play. Boss battles. Seems we got magic as well. That's pretty sick. Go 
towards Eva. Okay, we got some archery. Sweet. Hero villain. Man, this trailer is so retro. I love it. So old. So wait, can you choose? Which side you fight on? That blinking animation, though. Fable. The Lost Chapters. Okay, so that was the first trailer. And to be honest, the first trailer actually shows a good chunk of what the game is about. So now we have Fable 2, E3 2006 trailer. Let's check this out. The music. Will you follow the path of mind? A body. Nobility. Or corruption. Every choice leads to a different destiny. Choose yours. All right, so you get options, which is always good. That's cool. I like that. I like that whole thing where you can choose from being good and evil. I'm guessing that's what they're saying here in both the first Fable trailer that we watched and Fable 2. So that must be something that is a reoccurring thing in the Fable games. Now we have Fable 2 live action trailer. This is going to be interesting. Rated M for mature. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Will I find the light? Will be swallowed by darkness. I sense hope. Will I foresee harm? Will I know the blade? And taste the blood? See the figure. What the hell? I see a shadow. I see myself. Fable two. Who will you become? Yeah. Now one ninety. That's something that they keep highlighting is the fact that you have a choice. That's interesting. So there's obviously a lot of replay value with these games as well. Okay, so now we have the E3 2008 trailer. Every story starts innocently enough. Yours is no different. Until the day the story changes, and the little that you have is taken forever. What the freak? This is where the story really begins. At the path, to vengeance. For every battle, a weapon. For every cause, a champion. For every soul, a prize. Oh, shit. For every choice, 
a different destiny. Wow, okay. Who will you become? There it is again. So obviously there is the choices you make determines your outcome and your destiny. And it seems to be the case throughout, like it doesn't matter if you make it at the start or halfway through or whatever. Certain decisions that you make impacts your character. I wasn't actually expecting that. I genuinely wasn't. Alright, so now we have the launch trailer. Let's see what the launch trailer has to offer. with life, beauty and light. It's people unaware of the darkness that awaits them. Now they face their greatest threat and they need their greatest hero, you. So you can grow up as well. Unless someone better comes along. Which is interesting. Whoa. Okay, look at this. A champion who will make a stand. In a world where only the brave and the reckless venture far, while the rest hide cunningly in the I kinda like and only the Elder Scrolls vibes from it as well. Don't pack emergency underpants. Battle fiendish evil. There's werewolves and shit. Into its very heart. There's like ruins and dungeons. By your wits, or rule by sheer strength. Be feared. Be worshipped. Be mocked. Be loved. Be a legend. Who will you become? You literally become whoever you want. Fable 2. Hmm. This is definitely a game that would have been up my alley back in the day. Now we have Fable 2 Intro Cinematic. This would be good. Music though, right? That music is awesome. That poop? A bird poop? Did I just get shot on? What the fuck? Alright, that was weird. Alright, so now we're on to Fable 3. Now, Fable 3 looks like it's got the most trailers, I think, out of all of them. So this is the announcement trailer. Let's check it out. Now, I don't know whether or not I'm going to be playing these games, lads. If I am, it's probably going to be my spare time. I do not know. We'll see. The kingdom of Albion is changing. The land needs a ruler. I crowned him. He was King a crown. or queen. Cherished leader or ruthless tyrant. Please. Pure or corrupted. That future has not yet been written. The race for the crown has begun. In Fable 3. Ooh. And if they are announcing a new Fable, that's probably all we're gonna get is a little tease. Now this is the E3 2010 trailer. This was 10 years ago, man. The great and powerful king of Albion is dead. To one son, he leaves the crown. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Yeah, visually this looks good. To 
the other son, he leads a life of adventure. Flawless! Who could resist you? One brother's tyranny leads to starvation and misery. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. While from the other brother's choices, the quest to save Albion begins. Rise to power. Nice. It's a revolution. Shit, that looks good. That looks good, bro. That actually looks really good. All right, let's check out the launch trailer now. I wasn't expecting something like this. Yeah, well, they keep highlighting the fact that it's a revolution anyway. It's very different from its predecessors, that's for sure. Alright, let's check out the launch trailer too. Yeah, that's the one thing that highlighted a lot to me was how different it was from its predecessors. Alright, we're opening a book. Once upon a time, in the land of Albion, there lived a perfect kingdom. Full of magic and adventure where people knew nothing but happiness and felt nothing but love for their great king but this is not a fairy tale change is coming a hero will emerge from the darkness to stand up to the crown what are you doing here the war room is no place for a child to start a revolution. You will be a rebel. You All will right. be a warrior. And you will hold ultimate power in your hands. But you cannot save the kingdom alone. Oh. You, you are a leader. What is going Gather on there? Your allies. Win over the people. Take the throne. What? Rule Did he just fire in her face? What is that about? And your kingdom will live happily ever after. So you're oh. leading a revolution. Three. So you can still be evil, it seems. Okay, so the choices is still a thing. That's pretty cool. Now we have the official intro cinematic for Fable 3. Let's see what this is about, shall we? The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To oh. lead a rebellion. Oh. To be a hero. 
Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Oh no! Where those who dare to speak out are punished. <laughs> and those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. Oh, the poor chicken. Oh, that was lucky. Ow. against all odds. True rebels never give up. <laughs> that camera view though. Yet they you can do it triumph alone. No The Make uprising it. has begun. But who will lead the revolution? F in the chat for the chicken. <laughs> Such a strange trailer, man. A poor chicken. <laughs> All right, so now we have Fable 3, Traitor's Keep. I will arrange an audience with the Blacksmith Association, and we can clear this tax dispute up in no time. Two or three days of negotiations should settle it. Now, on to much more important matters. The well, hiring what? of a new head gardener. As you know, the rose bushes this year have suffered some minor discomfort due to the inclement weather and less than salubrious soil management. Lest we forget matters of state, we really ought to begin a more considered census of the population. Estimates of the number of citizens vary widely. Right, it looks like it can be stealthy. Welcome to the pit, Your Majesty. The most miserable place in Albion. The inmates down here are so disturbed they're barely human. The doctors who use it. Alright, highlighting the old cost customization. Jesus! Oh, fucking hell! Alright, that ended abruptly. Alright, so we got a better idea of what the gameplay looks like. But I have to admit, like, for a game that came out in 2010, it did look a little bit dated. I'm not gonna lie. Because I've played some games that came out in 2007, 2006, and they looked better than that. Maybe it's just the art direction that they're going with. I don't know. But maybe the trailers just don't do it justice, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but now we have Fable The Journey trailer. Um, don't know what this is about. Let's have a quick read of the description. Officially 3 2011 Fable A Journey trailer. See how the fantasy game series Fable continues in this first person action RPG. First person RPG? 
This is for the connect with connect control. All right, so it has connect control. I said it's optional. Long desired by those who should not possess it. For centuries, great heroes have defended it. But the age of heroes is over. When heroes are no longer born, they must be made. All right. can she see Albion's end is coming all that matters now is the journey all right so that was just a little cinematic trailer not showing any gameplay of what the first person actually looks like oh okay I'm guessing there's nothing else for that we're now in fable anniversary trailer so is this the first fable except remastered this would be cool to watch. That's definitely more than 10 years ago now. With a brand new remaster. Comes to Xbox 360. Oh yeah, it that definitely way, looks a lot better. Great big Balverin turd. What? <laughs> Whoa, that looks cool. I never open on the first page. Did he just say I can never open on the first date? What? Unlucky hero, maybe next time. <laughs> that looked good. That looks good. Okay, so our remaster came out in 2014. Six years ago, our remaster came out. All right, so we're on our final one. Fable Legends. Cancelled. Whatever that means. Well, apparently this was cancelled. So let's just check it out. Let me tell you a story of heroes. For there are those who believe the history of Albion is a history of heroes. From every corner of the land they come, seeking to make their name. But dashing, skillful, and perfect of skin. Aggressive. And determined. The masters of will. And those who carry Whoa. big, pointy swords with the cheers of the simple village folk ringing in their ears out walked these brave heroes seeking adventure and justice. I like this trailer. Fame this is my favorite trailer so far. But what they find. <laughs> oh shit! Every hero must be tested. Every legend earned. For what is an adventure without nice. danger? This is a cool trailer, man. Without a hero. 
So this is something that never actually happened. Xbox One? What? Why would they release a full-blown trailer like that if it never actually happened? Alright, so there it is, lads. Every single Fable trailer. Now, it may not have been every single trailer that has come out. There's probably others. Um, but it, just to give me an idea of what the Fable series is about and what the games are about. And from watching these trailers, I think I have a fairly good understanding of what this game franchise has to offer. And that's something that I wanted to, to get out of this experience. And that's exactly what I got. So basically Fable is a game franchise where you play as either a hero or a villain. You have the options to die for, so you can choose whatever way you fight, whatever way you look and the choices you make and the interactions you make with the characters in this world. Um, you're essentially a hero or a villain and you're in a world called Albion and I like that. I think that's very interesting. It's got, it's, it's, it is, it's an RPG. I'm guessing that's what I'm getting from this. Um, there's a lot of exploration and interactions with NPCs and different quests that you can go on and depending on choices you make will ultimately define your faith. And I like that. I like how they, they portray that a lot in throughout the, the three games um, it's very interesting and it looks it looks like a game that I would have played if I did in fact own an Xbox back in the day But as you all know, I only recently own an Xbox So that to me is is very interesting and a bit unfortunate that I missed out on this series now Whether or not I will actually go and play these games. I do not know I mean if I was I'd probably pick up the remaster of Fable 1 and play that because that actually genuinely looks good um, the game franchise as a whole, I think, looks fantastic. I like the freedom of choice that this game has to offer. It is not something that many video games had done in the past. Um, I did compare it to Elder Scrolls because essentially Elder Scrolls was one of those titles where you do have the option to be whoever you want and you make certain choices that ultimately affects your game, but not like the main story elements of it. You know, you could be an asshole in Elder Scrolls and kill everything, but in the end, it just puts you at a disadvantage and it doesn't really impact the story. But it seems Fable does have its impacts depending on decisions that you make. So I like that. I think that that gives it this game a huge diversity and interesting outcomes. So like I said, replay value is something that's definitely there in the Fable franchise. Um, and I can see why so many people would absolutely adore this franchise because there isn't many Microsoft exclusive games that have this genre. And Fable being one of the OGs of the genre, I can imagine why so many of you love it so much. Um, for me, it was Elder Scrolls. I really love Elder Scrolls. It's one of my favorite franchises. Um, and I loved growing up playing those games. Um, so I could say that if I played this back in the day, I would have similar feelings towards this. So, yes, a new Fable game being announced would be very exciting and very hyped indeed. And I think I'd even get excited now from watching these trailers if they announce a new one. Because, you know, my excitement doesn't just come from me and what I like. It also comes from the community and what you like as well. So, when I hear about a big title that's coming out, I get excited for you, the community. So... When I get pumped and excited to see that if they're announcing a new Fable trailer, then that's me getting excited for the community and something that I may potentially sink my teeth into. So, I hope they announce something new because that Fable Legends trailer apparently was cancelled. I don't know, I have to read up on that. And maybe you guys can clarify that in the comment section because I didn't hear anything about this until now. So, I think that's interesting. But let me know what you think. Did you guys enjoy the video? Did you guys enjoy the nostalgic trip going back and seeing these trailers? And let me know why you love Fable so much. You know, is it some of the reasons that I pointed out? You know, the diversity and the freedom of choice? 
Or is it just the overall story? I'd love to know. And give me a reason why I should play the games as well. Because I want to know that too. Because I have played some great Microsoft titles already. And I would like to sink my teeth into something a little bit different. And the Fable games I think is a good good approach. And something to, to start with. Um, but let me know. Let me know down below. But anyway lads that ends this video. Like I said this is a part of the Microsoft event. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did please leave a like. I greatly appreciate it. And of course subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. And you want to see more. Anyway lads I will see you very soon. And like I said I will be streaming the big Microsoft Xbox showcase. This Thursday which is tomorrow. And I hope to see some of you there at twitch.tv slash dvgeek. So make sure you do leave a follow over there to join that crazy stream that it's going to be. Anyway, lads, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next video. See you later, dudes.